Okay, so today we finished the unit. It's that quick. So the last day is still going to be on factoring. I wanted to spend a couple days on factoring because there's a lot of different types and it is really challenging. But don't forget to have your graphing calculator handy because we can type our original problem and then the factors below to make sure that we're right. Okay, so let's look at the expression, or I want to recall from yesterday, before we look at the first expression, what we're doing when we factor. So you want to check first, you want to check for a greatest common factor. Okay, second, look to see if it's easy once you factor the GCF, if, there, if there's no GCF, check for dots. Okay, the difference of two perfect squares. And then three, we're going to check for the trinomial factoring, right? Tri meaning we're going to have three terms. So we're going to spend the last day of notes here um, factoring that third type, the trinomial. So I have 10 examples. So let's start with example number one, which is x squared plus 10x plus 24. Okay, I'll look, these two have an x in it, um, but this term does not have an x in it, so there's no greatest common factor for a variable. And remember, if one of the numbers is a 1, then there is no GCF. So then you move forward and set your two parentheses. Remember, whatever's here, so if this is an x squared, it's going to be x times x. And whatever you put here is the same that you see in the middle. Okay, since it's an x in the middle, as another hint, our strategy, then it's going to be x times x. Now, I need two numbers that multiply to a positive 24. So it's either going to be positive times positive or negative times negative. And then they add to 10, a positive 10. Well, if they have to add to a positive, the signs are both positive. And then the two numbers that multiply to 24 and add to 10 are 6 and 4. So remember, you can go to the calculator. Let's clear those out from yesterday. Let's type the original trinomial in, x squared plus 10x plus 24. And then let's type our factors in, x plus 6, x plus 4. Graph. Or I should have showed you um, the table again. If we look at the table, then the y value should be the same. So I can see the red goes over the top, and then let's again look at the table or review that method, and we can see all the y values match. So we know we are correct. Okay, example number two. Let's circle our answer. All right, it's going to be the trinomial x squared minus 7x plus 12. So these two terms have an x, that one does not. There's no greatest common factor for a variable, and there is that one out in front, so there's no greatest common factor for the numbers. Since the middle term's an x, that means it's going to be x times x, and that does give us the x squared. It multiplies to a positive, okay? And it has to add to a negative. So negative plus negative is a negative. And then negative times negative is a positive. So in this case, what two factors of 12 um, that are negative add to a negative 7? And that would be negative 4 and negative 3. They add to a negative 7 and they multiply. 4 times 3 is 12. All right, moving right along to number three. Oops, I boxed that. I don't know why. Uh, I was boxing my answers. So let's do x squared minus 2x minus 48. All right, so this one's a little bit different in that the last terms here were both positive, and this one's negative. I'm going to set up my two parentheses as there's no greatest common factor because the 1 and that doesn't have an x. Look to the middle, that's an x, so it's x times x. And then this time, because the signs multiply to a negative, right, um, the signs have to be different. 
Now we're looking for factors of 48. You can go to your calculator to see factors by doing 48 divided by x into y equals and looking at a table. So let's go on the positives. 1 times 48, 2 times 24. So because the signs are different, they actually the two factors have to subtract to get 2. So that would be 8 and 6. 8 minus 6 is 2. And the larger number is going to have the sign in the middle. So it's x minus 8, x plus 6. Okay, 6 minus 8 is negative 2, and 6 times negative 8 is negative 48. All right, number 4. They're going to get a little bit harder because I'm going to throw in an, a number in front other than a 1. So 2x squared plus 7x plus 6. We're going to write 2 down at once. And this is going to be 3x squared minus x minus 10. Okay? All right, so let's look at 4 first. Well, um, is 6 divisible by 2? Yes. Is 7 divisible by 2? No. So there's no greatest common factor numerically, and they all don't have an x. So I'm going to set up the two parentheses. Um, 10 is not divisible by 3 in the number 5, and there's no x here. So there's no greatest common factor. Now for both of these, okay, they both have a middle term of x. So it is going to be x times x, but because of the number out front, it's not just going to be x times x. It's going to be, in this case, the only two numbers that multiply to 2 are 2 and 1. So it's going to be 2x times x. And this one, 3x times x. Okay? And then at the end, uh, again, we're going to pay very close attention to the signs. They multiply to a positive, so this means same signs and same signs that add to a positive. So they're both positive. Here, the signs are different. And I don't quite know which combination it's going to be. So I could, this is kind of a guess and check, write down another one. And maybe it goes plus minus or minus plus, I don't really know. Okay, so we have to play around with the numbers. And then the factors of 6 in number 4. Well, that's either, I'll write them right here, 1 times 6 and 2 times 3. And remember, it has to distribute to get this trinomial. So you can play around if you want, guess and check on your calculator. Um, it might take a while, but to show you that method, Let's go to y equals and type the original in. So 2x squared plus 7x plus 6. And then um, parentheses 2x plus, well, let's try the 1, and then x plus 6. Right? Let's try the 1 and 6. So go to the table. Do the y values match? No. So let's go back to y equals. Let's change that 1 and 6 to 2 and 3. Right? We know this part's correct. Go to the table and the y values don't match. Hmm. So go back to y equals. Maybe they go in a different order. So let's try the 3 first, then the 2. Table. Ah, there it is. So it's y equals 2x plus 3, x plus 2. That works great. Better than guessing and checking by hand, actually. And then the next one, so let's do the next one the same way. So 3x squared minus x minus 10. And then we know it has to be 3x, whoops. I'm going to, oh, let's try, um, let's actually not do this on the calculator because what if you don't have a calculator? So the numbers we're playing around with are 1 and 10 and 2 and 5. And they have to combine, right? So if we check up here, I use the orange pen for little smile, big smile. Little smile is 3x. Big smile, 2 times 2, 4x. That's how we get the 7x. 
So we need the little smile, big smile, to get a one. And the first is going to get multiplied by three. So if I do three times one, right, that gives me three and ten, not a difference of one. Three times two is six, and five, that is a difference of one. So six would be larger than five. We want that to be negative. So we want the three times the two, and then the five. So let's check. Um, five times x, five x. Three times negative two, negative six x. Guess we don't need this. We've figured it out. Negative one x. Good. All right, so that's the hardest you'll do, okay? So let's take a look at number six. That's the trinomial x to the third plus 6x six six squared minus 40x. Ah, now there's an x apart of each one. Now we have a GCF of x. Uh, when there's a one there, there's no numerical GCF, so it's just going to be x. So I'm going to divide this all by x. x to the third divided by x. Well, if we have three, take away the one on the bottom. That's x squared. Have two, take away one. There's no number, so the six is going to stay the same. We have an x, and then minus. Those x's cancel. 40. Now, the big thing here is we want to take a look at this parenthesis. Are there factors of 40 that combine to 6? So we've got 1 times 40, 2 times 20, 4 and 10. Yes. So we have to factor again. Um, middle terms an x, so we x and x. And I want 10 minus 4 to get the 6, so the 10 has to be positive. I know the signs are different because it's negative, so plus 10 minus 4. All right. Now, just to note, too, you can type this into your calculator and check the table. Again, the original problem in your answer. It's just not going to be a parabola because it's a cubic function. Okay, so it's going to look different. And if you want, we can go to the calculator real quick. I just don't want to take too much time today of yours. So I'll try to type this in pretty fast. And we'll just look at the table. Well, actually, no, I'll show you the graph so you can see the cubic function to remind you. Oh, I said I was going to take less of your time, but I wasn't typing it into the right spot. You're probably watching me and like, no, this is silence. All right, that looks good. And then my answer was x times x plus 10, x minus 4. All right. I can't get a good view of that, so zoom. So zoom fit. That's zero. Let's see if we can get a better graph. There we go. That's the cubic function. And you see it matches. So we're good. Thankful. It's a good thing we're right, right? Or else we would have had to spend more time on that question. All right, number seven. So just four more examples to go. And it's all the same process. So let's do 42x plus x squared minus x to the third. Now they each have an x in common, and there's a 1 here and a 1 there, so the GCF is only the x. So divide these all by x, and those cancel. So what's different is that the number's actually first, where before the number was last. So again, just slightly different. So bring the plus sign, x squared over x is x. Bring the minus, x to the third over x is x squared. Now, are there factors of 42 that combine to 1? Yes, I'm automatically thinking 6 times 7 is 42. So 6 and 7 do subtract to a 1. So it's going to be 6 times 7, and we want the 7 to be positive. So that's a part of the little smile, right? Little smile, big smile. So I want the plus x here and the minus x there to give me the positive 7x in the middle, 
negative 6x to get that 1x. Good. All right, number 8. All right, x to the 12th minus 1. So not a trinomial, but it's got an even exponent and one's a perfect square, and it's the difference of two perfect squares. So there's no GCF, so it's going to be plus 1 minus 1. And what's the same? That gives us 12. That's 6 and 6. Now, every time there's an even exponent, that's a perfect square, so we're going to have to factor this one. So again, plus 1 minus 1, because it's a negative 1. And then what gives us x to the 6? x to the 3rd, x to the 3rd. The 3's are not even, so bring this down, and we are done. Okay? Number 9. We've got 5x to the 3rd plus 5x squared minus 100x. Now, 100 goes into, or 5 goes into 100, and they all have an x. So this time our GCF is a 5x. So divide everything by 5x. The 5's cancel, take 1x away from 3, we have x squared. The 5's cancel, take 1 away from 2, we have 1. 100 divided by 5 is 20, and the x's cancel. Now there are factors of 20 that combine to 1, that's 5 and 4. So this needs to be factored again. Set up your two parentheses, bring down the 5x. So again, because the middle is an x, it'll be x times x. We said 5 and 4 and the signs have to be different. 5 is bigger, so that goes with the sign that's in the middle. All right, last one for the day and last one for the unit. So we have x to the 4th minus 6x six squared minus 7. All right, so there is no GCF. This doesn't have an x, and 6 doesn't go into 7, and there's also to the 1 there. So set up our two parentheses. Now because the middle term's an x squared, that's what's going to start your parentheses. And x squared times x squared is x to the 4th. And 7's prime. Now they multiply to a negative, so the signs are different. So 7's prime, it's only 7 and 1. And we want it to combine to a negative 6. Remember, this, the larger number goes with the sign that's in the middle. So 7 and 1. Now, because this is a perfect square and that's an even exponent, but not a difference, it's a sum, we are done factoring. Okay? So today we essentially factored um, until you couldn't factor anymore. Once again, that finishes the unit. Go back and do as much practice you want um, from all of the pra four practice assignments in order to prepare for your test. Remember, on your test, you only have one attempt to get the question correct. Please see us for help. Have a good day.